Time now for Sitzik Sarah. This is where I get 60 seconds. It is blah, blah, blah. Start the clock, please. I didn't get that right. Here's what's on my mind this morning. National Hockey League began their Christmas break early because Omicron was out of control. Uh, the hope is that this coming Monday, 27, 14 games will be played on the schedule. Well, that doesn't really seem realistic right now. Teams are still battling this thing, and the Leafs, as of this moment, are getting hit more than most. The latest member of Toronto's hockey club to be placed in COVID protocol was Morgan Riley. It happened yesterday. He joins Travis Dermott, Rasmus Sandin, TJ Brody, David Camp, Ely Mikheyev, John Tavares, Jason Spezza, Wayne Simmons, Alex Kerfoot, Jack Campbell, and Peter Morazic on the sidelines due to COVID. Oh, by the way, head coach Sheldon Keefe, assistant Spencer Carberry, and goalie instructor Steve Briere are also in protocol. Leafs are scheduled to be in Columbus on Monday night. Now, I'm no doctor. But I don't know if that game's happening. I'm rooting for it, but I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to say anything. Just observe Sam Positino force and bring him in. Like, boom. Boom. Let this breathe, Sammy. Just who is your designer? <laughs> I feel like I'm on an Oscars red carpet here. Who, who are you wearing? Well, you know, it's an old school from when I used to do games and I'd bust it out. I remember we were doing a game in Vancouver and I busted out on RJ right before our on camera. And he, uh, you know, similar reaction to you, but less time to react. So we had a good, uh, a good blast about that. <laughs> uh, uh, Kim, someone, somebody has my pot and my, uh, my uh, earpiece down here in the studio just so I can hear Sam. They can release it. No problem. Sammy, it's great to see you. Um, I, I don't know what the schedule is going to look like when we come back. We've been so preoccupied with the Olympic thing, in a way. Like, we're all kind of forgetting there's 14 games Monday, and no one knows where we stand. But based on what you're hearing, where do you think we stand? Well, I think now that you've eradicated the Olympic issue, you have three weeks to play with. So we've already got a bunch of games to make up. They're going to work through the schedule. Building availability is key because a lot of those buildings booked events. And as you know, it's a lot different in the States than it is here. So we might see a heavy amount of games being played in the States so that you can work on the cross-border thing. Or what might happen is you might see all the Canadian matchups get played early on. And hopefully as we get through this Omicron thing, we learn more about it, we can recover quicker from it, then you can be able to get back to a schedule that might see teams get down into the state. So we might get into that Canadian division thing, at least temporarily, to eradicate some of the issues with travel. But I don't think we're going to see anywhere near 14 games played on the Tuesday. No, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, and the North Division idea, it's looking... It's looking more realistic by the day. Like, I mean, I, two weeks ago, it, was, it would have sounded nuts. But here we are. So, I mean, I know the hope is always 82 games, Sammy, but, like, let's we're, we're all a bit more realistic than we used to be in society. How many, how many games, if I offered you, like, 72 games right now, you think the league would take it? Oh, yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, it's unless you move towards a different model and how you want to treat this thing in terms of not testing asymptomatic players, just going about your business because you think everyone's going to be healthy. So obviously there's a liability issue. We And the NHL hasn't gone down that road yet because of it. But I do think that there's going to become a point where we're going to say, hey, people are double vaccinated. They've gotten boosted. Now we're going to make a situation where if you're symptomatic, you're going to test, you're going to be isolated from the team. We see the numbers of people that are eligible for COVID protocols go down significantly, and then you can carry through with the schedule. But I think that number, you know, between 65 and 82 is very realistic. And I think with what we've seen so far with outer divisional play, it does make things a lot more fair than what we saw last year, you know, just the Canadian division or, you know, the other divisions that were created as a result. He is Sam Constantino from Sportsnet. Uh, we've gone go back a long way, a long way. Uh, and he is the one who put all other Christmas pajamas to shame on this show with that jacket. It is done. <laughs> it's a wrap, guys. It's a wrap. Uh, Merry Christmas to the fam, man. Love you. And let's talk again soon in the new year. Take care, brother. Thanks. Happy holidays. Thanks for having me. I hope everyone stays safe. Right back at you, brother. Love it. He's one of the best. He's Sam Cosentino from Sportsnet, and he is a friend of the show, and we appreciate every time he comes on.